I love photojournalism because I get to go places that most people can't. The camera and the position allows me to go seek these places and people out. And I feel uh, an important duty, but I find joy in being able to introduce what I've seen to the world and to maybe help people get a better understanding of the world around them or people that they might never meet. I've been a professional photographer for more than 20 years. And I started photography when I was in high school and really fell in love with photojournalism when I worked at the college newspaper. Choose to profile things that you care about and go out of your way to find something that you've always been a little curious about, but maybe have been a little uncomfortable to ask or just never had the time to do it. I always keep a little list of things that I notice when I'm walking around my neighborhood or going around town and always have a little list of ideas that most of them I never get to, but they're always something that kind of give me that little push to get out and, and see. Once you've found a subject, you know, if somebody has agreed to let you photograph them, you have to imagine, how, how am I going to photograph this? Where do I start? I think it's really important to move around. I think the biggest mistake that, that people make when they're taking a snapshot or, or picking up a camera is they don't bend their knees. They don't really look at the scene. They just pick up the camera, they shoot, and they move on and not really look at um, the background and how it connects to the foreground or it might be distracting. Get low. I, I lay on the ground all the time. Um, you know, I climb on top of things to get a get a different angle. I think that's really important to look at that. And often if I'm kind of stuck with, with something and I, I feel like I'm making the same picture over and over, I'll get up and walk around and do a 360 and just go a, a, around a room or, or go around something just to see it differently, to hope, hoping that maybe I'll see something that I hadn't noticed before. But I also think, especially when you're, you're photographing people and spending a lot of time with them, it's important to be still. Pick your positions and, and stay there for a little bit and be patient and let people become comfortable with you. You know, just kind of wait and see how things uh, transpire and what moments happen within your frame. Try to develop a sort of sense of, of when, when to switch gears and do one thing or another. I think one skill that needs to be developed beyond the technique of photography and composition is being able to relate to people. It's important to make, if you're taking a portrait or spending time with somebody, I think it's really important to talk to people, to put them at ease and put the camera down and just spend a little time. And beyond that, it's important to listen. I think, you know, so many times when I've, when I've sat down and listened to somebody about their story or, or what their day is like, it informs me about where the pictures might be or what moments are important within that person's life. I think it helps you connect more with what you're photographing or who you're photographing. Photography especially is a beautiful way to relate to people, but it's lyrical and not always verbal. You know, I said talk to people, but it's also, it's also a different way to connect with people. And I think, yes, there, there are so many times when I've been out of my comfort zone and still, you know, I've been doing this for more than 20 years and I'm still uncomfortable asking some people if I can photograph them. But the worst they can do usually is say no. <laughs>